Violence Roundtable. My name is Omari Salisbury. In this segment, uh, we have a survivor. We've been talking about loss, the first, the first three, three stories here. And we have a, a story of our survival and thriving in that survival is Jonas Siefu. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, thank you. Right. And, and Jonas is, um, is also an advisory board member at Collective Justice. And the, the reason I say survivor is that, you know, your, your story, I'm sure you'll share a bit of it, but, you know, you're, you're basically shot with a straight bullet um, and the bullet is, is still lodged in your head. Um, and you've, you've taken that experience of what you've gone through and you're working in a space, you're working with collective justice right now to be able to, I guess, impact the ecosystem that surrounds us or surrounds you right now. I wanted you to, to take a second here and or take a moment, I'm sorry, and, and tell us about your journey as far as um, the incident that occurred and where you're at right now. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. I just... Uh, uh... Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm originally from Ethiopia. I've been in Seattle for since the early '90s. Uh, went to Washington, Garfield, and uh, I, I was in a situation where uh, I was almost ahead in a, in, a, in a different direction, but uh, a small. Uh, uh, youth uh, organization called Rise of Passage actually helped help me set my ways and, and uh, for me to succeed. So I went to UW and uh, I currently work for economic development. Uh, and so in terms of uh, my situation, uh, a few years after I graduated from uh, UW, uh, I was uh, uh, shot pretty much a straight bullet uh, uh, at a house I was at, penetrated a window, a wall, and hit me in the back of my head, pretty much uh, leaving me critically uh, just wounded. Uh, and so after a few months uh, of learning how to speak, read, or write, and going through a lot of therapy, uh, I had to, I, I was forced pretty much to take a, uh, time off and just really reflect on what I wanted to do with my life and really uh, think about what my aspiration is and really reevaluating where I want to go. And that didn't come for a while though, right? Uh, for the first, I would say, a few years, I was in a place where uh, just healing in all kinds of ways. Uh, and so, um, yeah. yeah. Right. And now you're you're the work that you're doing now at, at mm -hmm. Collective Justice. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us about what you're doing there and why you decided to go that path? Yeah, definitely. So uh, uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh, she knew my brother and she heard about my story and talked to me about a project that uh, she was working on, uh, Martina. And so she told me about the idea of uh, what uh, they wanted to do. And uh, pretty much uh, is addressing the harm uh, uh, towards uh, in terms instead of uh, wellness and uh, really hold people accountable and uh, come up with some kind of uh, collective liberal liberal uh, uh, liberal uh, 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 sort of a, a justice system that's fair and uh, what I uh, what I do there is I'm a survivor advising board. Uh, I sit on a board where I help talk about my experience and also share my story in order for uh, for uh, for us to come up with programs and uh, uh, see how effective we could be based on our experiences. I, I can't hear you. Is that? There we go. I said, and actually, we have a we have an article up on the screen right now uh, that spotlighted you uh, from the uh, Seattle Times. My my question for you, my last question here is is that I mean, going through this life journey, you know, being being hit basically by a stray bullet. This this you know clearly it's it's impacted your life, um, your life journey moving forward. You're there with with collective justice. 
what is it? What are what are some of the answers? And I know there's probably a lot and they're probably in depth, but what are some of the answers that you see to be able to to curb gun violence in our city and for something like that occurred with you to not happen again to someone else? Oh, uh, I think uh, that's a, a complex question, and I feel like uh, some of the guests uh, answered already. But uh, definitely, I would I would, I would add uh, having uh, uh, resources, and so having a youth development uh, uh, program, uh, my, the program that helped me get in the right direction, and other youth. Uh, uh, in my age was a, a program called Rise of Passage Experience. It was in the Central District. Yeah. Uh, and it was a, a black man that were there letting me know who I was, uh, and really un- helping me understand the heritage that I come from being African and being a black person living in a, uh, in a foreign land. Uh, and I feel like those two could be a really good start, but uh, there's a lot of other things that uh, that we could talk about. All right. Jonas, thank you for taking the time to share our story. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad we wanted to end this segment with survivors. And I'm glad that you're, you're surviving and you're thriving there at Collective Justice. And that's collectivejusticenw.org. We're going to take a short break right now. When we come back, I'm joined again by...